Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong and today I'm going to share with you one simple PC tips where how to hide your quick access from your Windows Explorer. I'm sure you guys have been very familiar with Windows Explorer, especially the easiest way to access all the files in your PC. This little trick might be a little bit technical, but if you can follow step by step exactly how I share with you, I'm sure you can get it done within a minute. Let's do it. So the very really first thing you need to do is go to your Windows Explorer. Okay, as you see here. Okay, from my side, it's already done in terms of clearing out the quick access so how do i do it the very first thing you need to do is you click the uh, menu button and go to the options under this part make sure you untick these two guys and then you clear all the file explorer history at first place so assuming it's like this you untick it cleared it apply okay that is step one once you did it, the second step will be a little bit more tricky, but spare with me. I'm going to go through it one by one. The very first thing is press Start R in your PC. Then you shall see this little screen pop up. It's called Run. Okay, this guy will pop up. And you are supposed to type a command here. Okay, don't worry. The simplest way to type just one simple keyword to key in here, which is RAG edit, which is stand for registry edit. Okay, you just type this, then click OK. Once you click OK, you shall see a screen something like this. Okay, if you are first time reaching here properly, you are reaching something like this. Okay, don't worry about why there are so many things here. Okay. Bear with me, I'm going to show you how to just edit one registry value. And regist to edit this registry value is a little bit co different compared to what you did over the past if you managed to edit registry value before. Just for information, registry value is something like our settings. So the whole PC is actually depends on the value to show up what is what is going to present in the windows or the application itself so what we need to do is number one we need to go to class classes root okay there are a few things here don't worry about it you just look for exactly this guy called classes root okay that is first step number two is after you expand it look for clsid folder okay you shall have a lot of subfolder like this don't worry about that part. One moment. Eh? Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, you don't worry about there are so many subfolder. All you need to do is just type uh, CLS in a very fast way. CLS. Then you shall reach this guy. Okay, under this CLS ID, what you need to do is, let me see. Okay, under CLS, ah, what happened to this guy? Okay. Under CLS ID, the next thing you need to look for is a one very weird, uh, one very complicated combination of words okay don't worry about it. just scroll okay or you can click one of it and then you keep on clicking uh, page down okay you can click page down until you see six seven nine six seven nine which is here okay exactly this this value okay once you reach here you just expand it 
and you shall see four subfolder or probably more okay it's up to your pc but you shall see one subfolder is called shell folder okay you right click this guy before you edit the registry value here okay you need to right click this shell folder go to permissions under these permissions okay one thing you need to do is you have to go to advanced After you go to the advanced, okay, if the owner is not about administrator, you have to change it. How to change it? Let me show you. Number one, you click change. Okay, number two, up to this little folder here, you click advanced. Up to this part, you don't really do anything, just click find now. Then select one guy. Select one guy is called administrators with F. Okay, select this guy and click OK. Once you've done it, just click OK also. Okay, okay. When you did this, okay, the next thing you need to do is just click apply and then OK. When you've done it, you shall see administrators under this this area okay select it after you select next thing you need to do is make sure you take this guy called full control okay just click this guy full control then you can apply okay once you're done now you can edit this registry key called attributes okay what you need to do is just double click of attributes and you're going to change the value data from the default one zero one zero zero okay which is that's one inside other than zero okay you have to change the one to six very simple just change to six okay make sure you change just one digit here when it's done you just click okay and the next thing all you need to do is just close down all your applications and restart your pc then you shall see a very clean windows explorer that's what i have right here okay this is one of the way to clean up your piece uh, window explorer in an interface that you wanted to use it every day so just now i already share with you how to hide quick access this so-called annoying button in your windows explorer okay i hope you don't find it too technical and i really hope you can follow the step by step because if you read from the instructions that provided by the microsoft community it's actually quite hard to understand the steps because it's really technical okay for ordinary people like us so i hope you really like this uh video and you enjoy the whole thing so please like this video if you if you manage to do what i show you just now and follow my channel technology simplicity and put a ring to make sure you receive all notification whenever i upload a new video okay i will do my best if you have any questions or you need any help please post it in the comment box okay i will do my very best to reply or even create a video based on your request okay that's all from me thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again see you soon stay home stay safe bye bye